Welcome back to TubeTube. Now, hundreds and thousands of you guys tuned in last night to see the latest with Paul Brennan's love triangle in Fair City. Well, we've got his son here, Callum, in studio, as well as an exclusive clip. So let's have a look. Callum, son. I'm coming. Neve, Rachel and Ruth are my family now. Neve's not your mother. My mother's dead. Cancer, I think. Oh, oh, so good. That's the first time you've seen that I've clip never, as well. I have not seen it at You're all. You're so mean to I your know, mom. Man. I can't believe it. Sean Doyle, everybody. Hello. Um, and you've actually just come straight from the set. You're wearing Callum's clothes wearing right Callum's now. clothes right now, yes. Awesome. Well, listen, um, for people who are catching up, just give us a quick recap on the storyline. What's happening? OK, well, <laughs> I mean, I, I came in uh, the show kind of April-wise uh, yeah. uh, as a really bad lad, like so oh. Came and caused a lot of trouble. It was like uh, stealing cars and all this. Yeah. And um, and, and then I, when I got settled into a family, which is something I never had, mm -hmm. um, it, you know, everything went great. And then my mother came along and ruins everything as yeah. usual. Yeah. She's quite a character, though, isn't she's she? A great she's character. a brilliant character. Oh, she's like, lovely, like. So she managed to swindle forty thousand euro out of Paul. Like she's a serious weapon. Do you think that? Do you think Paul had much of a choice there? Because basically, she's kind of blackmailing Paul right now. We won't go too much in the details. Okay, okay. She's blackmailing Paul. Well, I think because like because he's because he's he's uh, he's kind of had an affair before and mm -hmm. like do you know. Uh, so I think he had to do anything he could to save the marriage. Yeah. So I'm not sure whether it was the right choice, but it was yeah. kind of spur of the moment. He was like, oh yeah, yeah it's right. So job. his so his wife Neve has after giving him the boot. You're out. You're after having another affair. Yeah. Do you think he kind of deserves it? I, I don't know. Like he's been, he's been a character that's been quite mean. Like he's kind of, he got the garage off the, the like Wayne was the last person with the garage, and he kind of got it for a lot, very cheap, you know. Okay. So he's been kind of, he's been a bit of a wheeler and dealer. So yeah. this is kind of like his comeuppance almost. But I am a bit partial to Paul as he's, <laughs> as he's my father, so yeah. I don't think he deserved that. No. And do you think your mum is going to get caught? Because she's not entirely telling the truth on I this storyline. No, I, I, I think, I think because she's a bad person and she's doing despicable things. Yeah, she will have her come up and it just that's the way it works. That's the way like, it works. If you do soaps, bad things, it? you're gonna you're gonna get like get taught a lesson. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. And come here, tell me about you when you first joined the cast. Was yeah. there anyone in particular who sort of gave you a lot of tips and sort of helped you out a little bit? I mean, I, I was blessed coming into it because I had like Clelia and Tony who play uh, and even Paul. Yeah. And they're just amazing to work with. Like it was it was it was so nice even you can see it even with the relationship that they have with the little girl who plays ruth casey she's only three and like the relationship is amazing so yeah it just shows how nurturing they are yeah like, and, and come here we'll tell it was it kind of intimidating being part of this huge show oh stop like well, was it, it really yeah. like nerve-wracking because i'm coming from, i come from like i coming from a, a college course that was really light on hours to yeah. like this it kind of uh professional environment um but when everyone made you like as part of a family, yeah. it was so nice. Sort of puts you at ease, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it's, it, the whole cast and crew together are just a, this really big family, really yeah. close, and yeah, that's always cool. lovely. And your character is great because when we first met him, he had this dark side. Then he yeah. sort of calmed down again, and he's taking care of his two younger sisters, stepsister, or no, half sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, especially one of them's got kind of going through a bullying storyline oh, right yeah, now, yeah. and you're being quite protective. But will we see that dark side again? I think. That this kind of he he's transformed into this kind of like part of society that has a job and he's caring yeah. for his family. And then when everything he what everything he thinks was amazing is kind of torn apart and made out to be a lie, yeah, he reverts straight back. Ooh. And I think there might be a bit of some repercussions for like, everybody. When, when you're like walking around on the street, do people mm. come up to you and actually think you're the character. I was like I was told this by some of the cast when I came in. They were like, oh yeah, this this happens. I was like, ah, oh, oh, that's grand. Like yeah, it's surprisingly regular. Like not a day goes by. Where some people were like, oh, yeah, you want. Callum has gone. It's I, so funny. I, I, like, I started acting because I was a big attention seeker. <laughs> Then, like in class, and then when I when I when I started acting, I didn't need that outlet to attention yeah. seeking more. So, so I you're of, loving I it love, right I'll, now. I'll always have a word for people. Excellent. Like I'm like, oh, what's the story? Yeah, well, listen, thank you so much for coming in, and everyone at home can catch Fair City on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sunday at 8 p.m. And make sure you tune in next week when I catch up with Nick Frost all about his latest.